Aries messages for you today will be using the Light Seers Tarot. This is what the universe has in store for you. What energies are currently surrounding you and what energies we have incoming. If you're needing a personal reading, my information can be found down in the description box. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, add value to the channel. Alright, no oracles today. We'll be using the tarot. So we have jumpers. Alright, Aries. Let's see what we have here. There may be some confusion here with the two of swords. Knight of Pentacles as well. Alright, so grounding you today, Aries, we have the star. Futuristic movement. We have the Aquarius as the major arcana. This could be thoughtfulness or hope. Or someone is seeking out a connection with you. This could be a download from the divine or internet activity as well. Mm, what else am I getting here with the star? It's like a celebrity moment or a spotlight is on you at this time. I'm getting fishing as well. Somebody's, Someone's fishing for your attention. So that's what's grounding you. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. So someone uh, generating abundance for themselves. Could be a can, uh, not a cancer, earth sign has to be. Getting Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Two of Swords. This could be a confusion. Or a hold up. Or someone is not knowing what you're thinking at this time. This could be a hypnosis as well. Getting Nine of Wands. So this is um, the Wounded Warrior, of course. This is someone that's very selfish. Someone that's very guarded. Has been through a lot. This is a karmic number, nines. You're reaching completion. Finances may have been a factor here. Finances may have been affecting your stability and you may not have been able to move forward. And that's why you're seeming guarded at this time. Knight of Pentacles dealing in finances. Alright. And then we have nine of pentacles. So we have nine of wands and nine of pentacles. Synchronicities. So indeed it could have been your monies that may have been affected affecting your foresight or affecting your planning. Also affecting your movement and your stability, your grounded nature. Eight of Wands. We have quick movement here. This is a sharing of energy or burst of passion or creativity. This is quick movement. This could be mul multiple personalities as well. A financial investment group, but we may have uh, people that are guarded or apprehensive at this time. Some people are. <laughs> they, things like uh, the internet is still confusing for some people so cryptocurrencies and stock market investing is definitely something that people are still learning again mass confusion here about investing it literally looks like someone is dropping coins into a machine or burying coins you know what happens when you bury seeds they grow it takes time for them to grow so you may be uh, mentally uh, confused or you just may have a lot of options here at this time I mean this could be considered multiple businesses or multiple investments or someone single and financially well off and stable let's pull a few messages here ten of swords more distractions there's gonna be a aha moment here after you come out of this ten of swords moment but that is a lot of distractions a lot, a lot of confusions maybe Yeah. Could be traveling away from toxic thoughts. Yeah, <laughs> traveling away from toxic thoughts and moving to moving towards something more secure, something m more. I mean, this could be research, but you're moving, or someone is moving towards the truth, pretty much. A more successful endeavors is what I'm getting. We also have Queen of Pentacles, more Earth energy, more finances. 
So there are a lot of pentacles here. Could be dealing with heavy earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgos. Queen of Pentacles is a monarch. Very well established, very uh, well sought after. Uh, she is also emotionally um, supportive as well, as well as financially supportive. This is uh, maybe pregnancy as well. You see her holding the, the giant pentacle on her lap or near her stomach area. She is very in tune with nature. This could be a feminine resting or going through a gestation period at this time. Again, there could be pregnancy involved. You know, it takes nine months for a child to be born. So this would be her guarded or going through a lot at this time. Mass confusion. The emotions are taking over. And then we also have the nine of pentacles. So two nines. Bringing in karmic energy. Karmic development. Pregnancy, of course. And then we have eight of pentacles. So along with the Eight of Wands, we have Eight of Pentacles, more synchronicities. Eight of Pentacles would symbolize work, uh, building a business, uh, maintaining the status quo, hard work here. This is a lot of options, never-ending work here. Again, we have two eights, turn them sideways, it's two infinity signs, so there's great power here in the work that you're performing. Again, it could be investing as well. Final message for you, Aries. Love coming in here. So we have the Ace of Cups. This is a gift from the universe. This is a new opportunity to experience love or to master your emotions. Um, you're seeking togetherness. You're seeking oneness. You're seeking out the truth at this time. What else are we getting? This could be a business in regarding, what else am I getting here? Regarding love, regarding equal give and take, partnership. This could be therapy. This could be a, yeah, a massage therapist here because we have the Ace of Cups. You see her putting her hands in front of her uh, heart chakra area or solar plexus. Hands are very important in manifesting and this is Eight of Wands. It's a lot of business here or a lot of work being put towards the situation. So it's kind of an unorthodox reading today. But we do have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Knight of Swords. This is a message in, uh, or a communication in regards to finances or business. It could be a love endeavor as well. You know, love or money attracts people. Okay, so I'm getting a gold, a gold digger. <laughs> okay. Um, but that is it for your messages today, Aries. Hopefully you enjoyed the reading. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, if you're needing any personal readings or any spiritual coaching, my information will be found down in the description box below. Have a good day.